Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial uh, I want to share with you how to go about um, finding various keywords using G Google's keyword uh, planner tool. So if you go to Google Ads and basically go to adwords.google.com and then here up in the upper uh, right hand corner you can see that you'll have a tools option and if you click the tools option look under planning and you will discover it has a keyword planner click go ahead and click that and essentially it'll take you to this page you can read up on how to use keyword planner uh, as well as open the previous keyword planner so essentially you have two things um, one being that you can get search volume and forecast so let's say you have a, a specific keyword that you're trying to understand what is the likelihood of um, that keyword having any PPC or pay-per-click uh, you know traffic or just what the bid is what the low bid what the high bid is um, for that keyword or related keywords you could actually use this get search volume and forecast but what I really want to show you is this little neat feature here called find keywords so if you click find keywords uh, what it will allow you to do is you can enter in a keyword to a single keyword phrases or what's even more interesting to me is entering in a URL related to your business and so um, you know I'm gonna show you here I'm gonna put in kickstart commerce.com and when you put in a domain name it either will allow you to do the entire site this page only or you treat it as a keyword so I'm gonna do the entire site and you know if you wanted to enter in more you could but essentially click get started and what happens is it will show you um, keywords for that given site and so if you look here uh, it'll give you the keyword by relevance as well as the average monthly uh, searches per month the competition and you know that's whether low medium or high and then the ad impression share as well as the the low um, the low bid for the top of the page as well as the highest bid for the top of the page so you can see if you uh, were trying to rank for Bluehost show hidden files and it was PPC related you're likely going to be spending anywhere from 25 upwards to $50 uh, per click that being said you have phrases like rent domain name um, and so you can see what the PPC associated is with that so if you wanted if you had a new page and you wanted to try to get immediate traffic to it and let's say it was about you know renting or leasing a domain name then you could actually use this tool to be able to gauge what you're likely gonna have to pay and what the the average monthly search volume is the interesting thing is you can actually sort um, by competition so any of these columns you can sort by and typically you're going to want to look for anything in the medium to high range and for most you know for the most part here I'll scroll down and you'll begin to see it has different so the keyword here by traffic has anywhere from a hundred to a thousand average monthly searches uh, but pretty much they'll go and we have it sorted right now by high to low and so you can see all the various high keywords here um, that it found based on what I included here and so you can also download the keyword ideal uh, data so all this data you can actually download to a CSV the other thing is you can also put all available uh, data or last 24 months and so what I recommend for most is just clicking all available data and then downloading that data um, so that way you know you're you're able to actually go through research once you get it into a spreadsheet and begin to create or craft a uh, content marketing strategy based on the keywords uh, that are submitted there or you figure out what your PPC um, you know what your PPC strategy is uh, again and that's pay-per-click advertising strategy so oftentimes what some people do not only do they use um, 
this tool for Google Ads. They also use it for um, Facebook advertising as well as Twitter, as well as um, you know some of the other Bidvertiser and um, ClickBank. You know the list goes on. So it's a number of PPC ecosystems that this data can be used uh, for. So I hope that that helps. Again, you can always type in a site or you can type in uh, keywords or keyword phrases and uh, you know to get a better um, view of just what keywords um, are associated to your business. Like I said, the newest feature here unlike the uh, the previous keyword planner tool is that you can actually now enter in URLs and use URLs so you know hey start entering in some of your competition and see how see what keywords come up for them and you know you may find other uh, keywords so that being said uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel where Basically, every week I deliver a tutorial of some sort, uh, whether it be WordPress tips and tricks, search marketing uh, strategies, or even domain name investing strategies. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Last but not least, please visit kickstartcommerce.com and in the right hand side here or in this little pop up, enter your first name as well as your email address and subscribe to. Uh, my daily SEO and domain name insight newsletter. So that's it. Thanks for now.